Alright, so today we have a little bit of a different video for you. Um, I've been asked a couple times on how tips for how to hot wax skis. Um, because I do my own, you know, ski care and stuff to save a little bit of money. The first things you'll need are wax. Now there are a bunch of different types of wax you can get. Um, they're all for different temperature ranges on you know what you'll be skiing in. Like this is for um, really cold weather. That's for um, 14 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 26 Fahrenheit. This is for uh, 21 degrees Fahrenheit to 10 Fahrenheit. Um, this is 34 to 25 Fahrenheit, and this is what I usually use. Some, um, this is what the most of the temperature around here in Central New York is. It's uh, 28 to 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's why I have the bigger pack of this. It's purple. It's nice. It does good. Um, you also need an iron. I would not recommend using. Uh, you know, one of your parents or your wife's, you know, good clothes iron for this because it, it's not really that good for the iron. But I think I went out and got this, you know, Black & Decker iron for like 25 bucks at, I forgot where I got it. I think I got it at like Target or something like that. Um, you're going to pretty much iron the wax onto the ski, which I'll show you. You also need a scraper. This is just a plastic scraper thing. I'll show you how to use that in a little bit. And then you will need a buffing brush. This sort of buffs the wax off and stuff. All right. So I, well, I just did my skis and I thought about making the video halfway through of waxing my skis. So I'll show you on uh, my snowboard. It's the same concept for skis and a snowboard, so I'll show you my snowboard. All right. Uh, one quick tip for you if you're going to be waxing skis is the brake here. This usually sticks down. I just took a little mini bungee cord and wrapped it up so that it wouldn't be in the way of your waxing. All right. So, what are you going to want to do? stuff up here and you've got your iron and your wax first thing you're going to want to do is just drip the wax on the board or skis just drip it all over you don't want to go too crazy with it, but you want to get a good, you know, a fairly good covering. Now, if uh, any of you are wondering, uh, this snowboard is a ride Fleetwood. It's a all mountain board. It's great. I got it. It's uh, actually three years old now. Um, it's a great board. All right. So when you're done, the board's gonna border ski is gonna look like this. You know, have a bunch of dots on it. And then what you want to do switch hands here is iron the board and what you're going to do is you're going to be spreading out the wax all over the board now the one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to preheat the board and um, what that does is it just warms it up a little bit you know warms the board up helps the wax soak in a little bit better but it's it's not that big of a deal really um, 
But yeah, so you pretty much do this for the whole board until, um, you know, it's all melted and it's all got a nice covering of wax on it. And when you're done with the whole process, if you do it right, the white along the sides down there, that should all be gone. And, you know, I'll show you because this is sort of a how-to video. Alright, so once you have the wax all spread out on the board, which you can kind of see in the light there, it's a little bit dull. Um, but you can see all that on there. Once you got that on there, um, you're going to want to let the board dry and cool for about 10 minutes or so. Um, you know, same thing with skis, let them dry and cool for about 10, 10 minutes or so. And then uh, what you'll do is you'll take one of these things. You know, this is a piece of plastic that I don't know where we got it or what it was. Um, we're going to go on and scrape all the stuff off, which I'll show you in uh, a couple minutes after this cools a little bit more because it's still a little bit warm in places. So we'll let it cool, then we'll show you how to scrape it off. All right. Well, now that the board has dried it up or cooled off, what you're going to want to do is take a plastic scraper thing here and scrape all the extra wax off it. Okay. So, you know, you can pretty much do this any way you want, but pretty much just drag and scrape and you know you'll get these stringy things which you can just wipe off and you know you're just gonna do this a bunch and get all the extra wax off there and you know really I pretty much just keep doing this until you stopped getting a lot of stringy things coming off it because that means you got most of the wax back off. And uh, I don't know, I'm sure there's specific science to doing this, but I don't know. And you know, this is the way that I've been doing it for a while, and it has seemed to work pretty good and uh, yeah the reason I'm waxing all these now is uh, even though it's really late in the season um, I'm gonna be going to Vermont tomorrow I'm going to Smuggler's Notch to do some skiing which uh, should be really fun and you know, I want my stuff to be in really good condition for that because a little bit different than uh, you know what I'm used to, which is uh, Toggenberg Mountain, which has a whopping I think 700 vertical foot drop. So compared to the 2,000 of smugs. So, should be fun. And um, one thing you want to try to do is sort of go with, go lengthwise with the board or the skis. You don't really want to go like this. I don't know why, it's just a good thing to do. Then once I've gotten most of uh, most of it off going one way, I will go back, just go over it a couple times, go another way, and get the thing to stop sliding.
And um, yeah, when you're doing this, it takes a fair amount of pressure on the ski or the board. But yeah, once you get it all off, I know I did it sideways, that was bad. Sue me. Alright. So. We got some little scraps on there, but you can see it's a little bit shinier. And then there is um, where it hasn't been waxed, it's a little bit. I don't know, you can't really tell that well on the camera, but you'll be able to tell when you get a fair amount of it off. And then, you know, like I said, just keep going until uh, until you get, get so that when you drag across that there isn't that much stuff that goes across that comes off the piece of plastic. Like, that's pretty good. So, this bottom part of the board is... Uh, you know, fairly good. And, um, oh, I had my finger over the microphone. Um, yeah, so just keep doing that, do the whole board, then, uh,